Jesús. Are you cool with it, Herc? Against America. It happened not only yesterday with Lucho Acosta. It's been a common thing now where opposing players are approaching Lionel Messi after the game to ask for his jersey, to ask for photographs. We saw what Dax did the other day. They lost the final, but hey, at least I won my jersey. Are you cool with it? The way some players, I'm not going to say every player, but some players are acting with Lionel Messi as fanboys. Just really quickly, there's only been one team not to do this to my knowledge, and that's Orlando City, their rivals. And it was a it was a heated game, a very entertaining game. We saw angry Messi. Some would even say he should have been sent off, but that's the only time I don't recall this happening. Every other game, you just saw Lotti and Rotundi right there. Oh. Okay, Cruz Azul, yeah. they got torn into in Mexico. <laughs> you saw Thiago Almada, yep. uh, okay, who was his teammate, and he missed a penalty kick in that same yes. game. You saw that right there. You saw it against Dallas Velasco. Okay, Alan Velasco. You saw it against uh, Philly as well. You saw it again uh, against uh, Nashville. Nashville. And you saw it last night. It's going to continue to happen yeah. until these players have a little bit of self-respect. And I say that in the most just polite way, not only yourself, but for your fan base. Because there are fans who don't like this. And I understand it's the greatest of all time and you never have this opportunity again. Um, but what you're saying or the idea or impression you're giving your fans is that it's more important for me to get this right now than it was for me to play for this jersey, this badge, and win yeah. this game. And that may not be the case, but that's the impression you're giving fans. So you're indebted to these fans. And it may be cultural because you're not going to make that much of a stink about it here in Major League Soccer as you would in Latin America and Mexico. You saw what they did to Rotondi and Lotti after this. They were calling for them to be removed from the team. Yeah. Fans yeah. were not happy. It's a bit of a cultural distinction, um, and they get away with it. Should it continue to happen? No. Am I cool with it? No. I think it's a bad look. There are times, there are moments where you can go do this in the tunnel, uh, away from the game, away from the cameras. But when you do this to the cameras, there are going to be those who say, oh, look at that. It's just a game. And there are those who say, why is he doing yeah. that? You just lost the game. You should be upset. It just looks bad. Here's the problem. We're talking about it. We are talking about this. It is a big deal. It should not happen. It, what you just said to me is key. There is a time, there is a place. Yeah. If there's a way for you inside of the locker room or the tunnel leading to the locker rooms and you find Messi and you want to grab a quick picture with him, fine. If you brought your own Barcelona jersey and you want him to sign it, nobody's watching. It's your private area. Go ahead. That's fine. But it's a bad look. And I know it's not the same, but I'm going to bring this example to the table. See what you think. We as journalists, at least at ESPN, we have a rule. Whenever we are interviewing an athlete or personality, we do not ask for pictures or autographs. They just give them to if you. <laughs> they ask for it, right. <laughs> but there's a reason for that. Because you are in a professional environment. Yeah. We are required to act professionally. What's the and, rule and, in the and, press and box? This, the rule in the press box. No cheering in the press box. Yeah, it's the same thing. So, but it's just acting professionally. I know the game ended after the whistle. I completely get it. And this might be the only chance you have of shaking Messi's hand or asking for a picture or an autograph. But that's not the right time. And that is definitely not the right place. You know what the most, uh, I guess, sad part about this is if you look at the players who were caught in these moments, uh, Rotundi, who I thought was very good when he played against Inter Miami. Mm -hmm. I thought he was one of the positive players. Remember what he said even before the game? Yeah, that nobody should take that jersey. It's his. I and, if, if, and if that happens, we're going to have an issue yeah. inside so that dressing room. His mind wasn't there, but he's still one of the, he was still one of the best players on the field yep. that night. And then you go, Diago Almada had a very good game even though they lost. And you go, Alan Velasco, who had a very good game against FC Dallas against uh, Inter Miami. And then you go, Dax McCarthy, uh, McCarty, excuse me, who I thought was massive for Nashville against Busquets and against Lionel Messi and that Inter-Miami team. And then you look at last night, Lucho Acosta and Brandon Vasquez, both guys scored. They played very well. So you're taking away from everything you did. And now the fans are just going to see you asking for a picture, you asking for an autograph, you not taking into account the pain they have for losing this game. Yep. And it's, it's, it's a bad look. I, I honestly had a problem with... Uh... Dax McCarty's post on social media. Because after losing a final, you cannot go and try to find a win. Because for that fan base, there's, there's no winning at all. And the fact that you have to post it, right? Because if he gets Messi's jersey, let's say he finds him in the tunnel, gets his jersey, 
even gets the autograph. But then you want to go out and let everybody know that you got it minutes after losing what it was for your club, one of the biggest nights in your club's history. Fans are not going to take that no. well. And you got you to be more, you got to be smart to understand that you are you owe, you owe it to your fans. Yeah, unfortunately, this isn't just an MLS issue. Like, I've been in situations, uh, Ronaldinho's first game uh, in Mexico was a cup game. It was Copa MX. Yeah. Uh, I was playing with Tigres, and we went to Querétaro, and it was a massive spectacle. There was all types of press, Ronaldinho's first game, um, minute 22, uh, of the game, uh, one of my teammates, uh, hands on his knees, guarding Ronaldinho, goes, hey, your jersey after the game. <laughs> you know? He got it. But what I'm saying is sometimes players get caught up in the emotion of who they're playing against and their idols or whatever the case may be, uh, and these things happen. So it's not just exclusive to Major League Soccer, but it's a bad look. That, that's the reason why you don't have a picture with Ronaldinho? Scored that game, by the way. Scored we won, that game? We won 1-0. Did he? Oh, we won. You, you did. Yes. Hey, that's the one game you scored with Tigres. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.